Hello and welcome to another Quattro Tech Cars video. Today we have this absolutely stunning 2019 Audi Q3 S line. So this is one of the first of the brand new generation, which is just night and day compared to the old one. These things have so much tech and design packed into them. This particular one looks fantastic in the pure white with the 19 inch S line alloys. It's powered by the 1.5 TFSI petrol engine, which has the 35 designation from the factory. So that produces 150 PS and is driven by the S-Tronic automatic gearbox. This Q3 has had just one private owner from new. We've just bought it off them. And we're going through all of our preparation. So let's have a look at more of the detail inside because it also has a monster spec. Okay, so here we are round at the boot of the Q3. As you can see, we've got a really practically sized load area uh, for the relatively small size of SUV. Uh, we've got uh, two ice fix anchoring points for kids seats as well some various luggage hooks as well we've currently got the boot floor in its lowered position so you can have it just sitting on top here so you uh, gain a few inches of extra luggage room just there and underneath that we've got a tire inflation kit and all the necessary tools just there we've also got an electric tailgate on this q3 so very useful if you've got kids or shopping um, in, in one hand and you can even open it from the key as well. So as well as having Audi's parking system plus, you've got the front and rear sensor which are integrated into the bumper here. They come up on the main screen. You've also got the rear view camera, which you may be able to see just up there. Um, and that's part of the comfort and sound pack. So we'll go through a bit more of what that entails as we go around to the front. Coming into the interior, I mean, it's just such a difference from the old car. It really is brand new. Um, if we look at these um, small inlays here. We've got some extended ambient LED lighting, so you can change the color of those. There's about 25 or so different colors you can choose right across the color palette. We've got some speakers just down here, and again, we've got the Bang & Olufsen, which makes a humongous difference in this car. It's a fantastic sound system. Um, something interesting to know is that Audi have also moved to Sonos um, as their upgraded speaker system. So really, this is one of the last cars which has that amazing, amazing system from Bang & Olufsen. If we look around to the interior, we've also got full black leather as an option with a really nice design there with the contrast stitching. No rips, tears, stains or any odours. Uh, the interior is pretty much uh, like new as it were. And that's not really a word you use for used cars, but this car is very, very tidy indeed. We've got the black headlining, which uh, as you may know, comes with S lines of standard trim. And then we've got that panoramic sunroof just there. So if you look how large that is, very rare option on a Q3. Uh, so that really sets the car apart from uh, the rest of the uh, field as well. I've also got privacy glass, which is on the rear screen as well as the rear windows. So coming around to the front, we've got more Bang & speakers just here. You've also got tweeters, which are uh, just up at the um, top of the dash as well. Um, they make a really big difference to the clarity and overall sound as well. Um, so that's part of the comfort and sound pack along with the rear view camera. You've also got the electric seat as well in the front with electric lumbar support. And then another really nice uh, thing that you get with that is a keyless entry, so the advanced key. So you can just swipe uh, that small indent there to lock the car. And when you come to it with the key in your pocket, it'll automatically unlock when you put your hand in just there. So very, very smart system. So that means that there's no um, barrel to put the keys in either. You can just have them on your persons and you've got the ignition um, switch just down there. So just coming back to the door for a second, we've got more ambient lighting in the inlays. We've also got folding mirrors as well, which is a nice option to have. There's a tailgate latch just there. Again, leather front seats with um, all of the adjustment, including lumbar support and a thigh adjuster as well. The S-line embossing just there. You can see they're in very good condition indeed. Coming into the driver's seat, we've got the light adjustment, so quite different on the new generation, um, very much simplified. So you've got automatic LED headlights with LED daytime running lights as well. That gives you a light and rain sensor. So you've got automatic um, winching wipers just here, which you can change the sensitivity on. And then we've got an auto dimming rear view mirror. If we look at the steering wheel, we've got a perforated leather multifunctional unit with various different buttons on it. So this side really controls the virtual cockpit. So part of the technology pack. 
And we've got on here, um, and as you can see, it just looks fantastic. You've got that satellite um, navigation just there. So that'll be as part of the first three years of the Audi Connect subscription. You can also change the size of the dials and we can switch through to various different bits of information on there. So the virtual cockpit looks really great. We've also got um, lane assist as well, just around here and side assist as well. So in the mirrors, you can see so that small um, black uh, window screen that will actually uh, light up yellow if it detects a car coming up fast behind you uh, let's say on a dual carriageway or something like that and then we've got more media controls with some telephone input just down there as well that asterisk button just there you can actually program to do a number of different things depending on your preference and then we've also got the cruise control just down here as well on this separate stalk Coming over to the main screen, another huge advancement for the Q3 from the old one. So we've got this integrated TFT LED um, display. It feels fantastic to use. Of course, it's, it's touch screen only. Um, so we've got the navigation on here. You can connect your phone via Bluetooth to make and receive calls. You can also connect it to the uh, media wirelessly by Bluetooth to listen to your favorite music as well. You've also got um, USB-C and uh, USB uh, inputs just there. We've got wireless charging just down here as well. Um, so you don't have to plug your phone in to charge it. And then uh, we've also got DAB, FM and AM radio. Eric, he says it twice. And we've got a whole host uh, of different options on the main menu screen as well. These tiles look great. Um, the system's so updated. Again, along with the first three years, you even have um, weather apps and things like that. So this may take just a couple of seconds to load up, but you can see that there uh, as part of the integrated SIM card with the data. Um, you've also got news as well. Another really nice thing is we've got um, Audi smartphone interface. So you can connect your iOS or Android device to use either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So that means uh, that you can use incredible apps like Google Maps and Apple Maps and have that different mapping software if you want to that goes through your phone. You can also um, use all of your music apps like Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music, Google Store, things like that. Um, so it also looks like your phone's menu as well. So your iOS basically gets projected up onto the screen just there. So it looks completely different to what we're seeing now and this interface um, as it goes along with whatever phone you might have. Um, and you, there's so many different things like podcasts, WhatsApp, um, all of the voice recognition in terms of Siri and Hey Google uh, you can use as well. So that's a fantastic bit of technology that you can utilize that just keeps updating with your phone. If we go into menu, we can also go to car. Of course, as always, we've also got Audi's drive select. So we've got off-road, efficiency, comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual. So these will change things, including the weight and feel of the steering, the throttle response, and how the gearbox responds to changing gears as well, in terms of its speed and the revs at which it does so. If we just press the parking sensor button down here, that will come on automatically this screen when you go into reverse, of course, uh, but you can see the front and rear sensor just there and the rear view camera. It's crystal clear with this new screen. You've also got a um, sort of quick drive select changer just there, which if we go back to the larger cockpit, you see just under P there, it's switching through the various different modes. So you can do that completely on the fly and on the go during your journey. Moving further down, we've got the dual zone climate control with heated front seats as well. It's got three levels of control. So perfect for the winter months coming up a medium radio volume and track selector and then we've also got as we said that ignition start stop just there the astronic automatic gearbox with sport and manual mode and then we've got a electromechanical parking brake with hill hold assist 12 volt power socket and a cup holder just there we've also got an extendable armrest as well so very comfortable for those longer journeys. And just one really cool thing to note about the ambient lighting um, is that the Audi badge just here, that actually mirrors the lighting color that you've got. So you can see it's got a red tinge to it just there, just like it has in the door cards. However, you can change that to all the different colors. Um, so in the night, it's got a fantastically futuristic feel. Just get another quick look at the panoramic roof just up there. That's all controlled by the control panel just on the roof there also and you've got an electric blind so you can cover it up for the sun as well. 
So all in all, a fantastic car with an awesome new design. Just look at those LED daytime running lights just there. All Quattro Tech cars come with six month warranty. However, this car will still have some of the manufacturer warranty on it, more than likely, um, an MOT if applicable, and a comprehensive mechanical check. Please don't hesitate to get in touch with us so we can explain how we're currently facilitating safe and socially distant test drives and appointments. Thank you very much.